Hello, I'm Carol Majahad. I'm the director here at the North Andover Historic Society, and we'd like to welcome you back. Today we're talking to you from our newly completed textile exhibit. Um, you can come and visit us uh, during the public hours, Tuesday through Friday, between 10 and 12 and 1 and 3, and this is part of the section that you can come through for free. Um, we really wanted to reflect North Andover's very strong textile tradition all the way from the very early days with hand tools right through our industrial age. Today, we've invited Dave Rand, who's going to share with us his memories specifically to Davison Berber. My father was what they call a road man. My father was the man who went out on the road and set the Davison Ferber machinery up in the companies. As the company would sell a machine, they would send my father out to set that machine up and get it running so that it can be put on a production line. And uh, the faster the machine was put in operation, uh, the faster it started producing for the company that had just bought it. So it was very important that they work quite uh, efficiently. And uh, the machine, uh, especially the cards that my father worked on were huge machines and it took sometimes uh, weeks and some months to to get the whole uh, operation back uh, up and running. Once the cylinder was made, the cylinder then went out into the field and, and it, it was put into uh, what they call the cylinder field. And these cylinders were put out there and they were just left there to... Uh, cast iron does not rust. Cast iron uh, it goes through a process that hardens it. And these cylinders would be made in advance and they'd be put out on the field and they'd be all rusty. And sometimes sit in the field for six months or a year or even longer. And then they'd be brought back into the company and they'd be uh, given to the machinist and they would machine the, uh, the cylinders all down and they would prepare them to go on to the machine. I worked in a pattern shop making the patterns for the machines uh, for a few years. And uh, every pattern had to have a number on it and the big side frames that held the machines had Davison Ferber logo spelt right out on them. And, and there, there are still Davison Ferber machines uh, working today, even though the company is no longer in existence. 